Rob Hull, for Figures and More, talking to Jeff Beckett, the CEO of Shocker Toys. And Jeff, this is pretty much redemption year for you. Uh, Indie Spotlight 1 is out, and it has sold out in several outlets. You're forcing to restock. Indie Spotlight 2 looks great, and it's on the way out. And you've got two more series here, which uh, I'm sure amazes several people who will be watching this and listening to it and uh, reading about it on forums. So, Jeff, uh, tell us how the line's progressing. Uh, line's going good. Uh, series 1. Uh like you said, it's sold out. Uh, we're actually retiring Series 1 after Toy Fair. So it will be retired. We are bringing back the Max um, with a different paint app, like a Battle Damage with Julie. So it'll be like a two-pack, but the rest of Series 1 will be retired. And what we're going to do is we're just going to retire Series as we go along. We'll be retired. Um, so Series 2 is, uh, is on its way now. We actually had to fill a full container now, so we, it got pushed back a little because we have to add, we have to add Toy Fair. And for some reason, all these stores now all of a sudden want to carry any spotlights on. we got to add them on as we go. We don't have a main distributor, so we, we do everything ourselves, you know, uh, point to point, straight to the stores, straight to the fans. So it's, it, it builds as it goes, and then we, you know, hopefully we're going to get this system fixed because we've got other distributors in the United States, you know, that are not Diamond, that are on board to take this line and push it into all the stores. So. Now, I don't want to get too far into this because I don't want you to get in trouble, but uh, it must feel great for you this year. Uh, as opposed to last year when everybody was like, these are never coming out, these are awful, they're not going to be any good, no one's going to carry them, they're going to sit on pegs forever. It must be great to finally sort of shut those people up. Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, you know, you can look online, if anybody says, oh, you know, they're not out, and people are learning now. It, 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 it took a little while, even after they hit in, in July, we had them at San Diego Comic Con for the first time. Actually, we previewed them at uh, Wizard. And then we hit San Diego, and we have the full line there. And it took a little while, but, you know, eventually people were like, well, I get these didn't come out. And then people were like, no, I own a set. And they're like, oh. So now, after 2010, when it hit the new year, everybody's talking about, yeah, I have a set. They did come out. I own them, and I love them. So now everybody's like, oh, they're out, they're out. So now, slowly, it's starting to spread around, which is what we want. You know, it took a little while. There was a little bit of a delay. Of course, everybody, some people try to say it was never going to happen. Uh, and that caused everybody else to think of the same thing. But once they saw that it was out and everything hit and everybody was talking about they owned it, it changed. I mean, you can go online. If anybody says they're not good or whatever, you can go right online and see all the reviews, you know, and everybody reviewed them. Uh, a bunch of websites, uh, a bunch of independent people, in a, uh, you know, reviewed them too. And they're not stores, they're not swayed by anyone. There's people that bought the product and threw the review of So, you know, there's some good points and some bad points online. There's things we had to change, which is why Series 3, we made new bodies, we made new changes to our articulation. So as we go along, you know, we, we came out with a strong series, a strong articulation, but we made it even better. We just gonna keep getting better as we go. So let's talk about Series 3. Series 2 is uh, on its way, and yep. Series 2 was at Toy Fair last year, so yep. I'm pretty sure everybody knows the line for Series 2. But let's yeah. talk about Series 3. Series 3 is brand new. Yep, Series 3 is brand new. Uh, we got Grendel, Grendel Prime. We got uh, Nira X, uh, Cyber Angel. Uh, we also have Fist of Justice. Uh, we have the Phantom and we have Zora. Two very classic comic characters yeah, who really see, haven't been given much of an action figure treatment. You could technically say that it's uh, it's like the classic the classic series because uh, they'll be the headliners in the series, both Zoro and Phantom. So it'll be a Zoro Phantom series or series three. And then uh, you have another series in the pipeline after that. Uh, yes I do. Uh, well I have a an offshoot series which is uh, uh, the Golden Age series, which is the Heap series. Right. So you got the Heap, you got uh, the original Daredevil, uh, you have uh, the original Blue Beetle, the Blue Beetle, <laughs> with one T, Dan Garrett, um, who was a cop. You also have uh, the Arrow, and you have, of course, Black Terror, who I think came out amazing. He looks, he looks very angry. That's how he should. <laughs> and then, uh, switching tracks from Indie Spotlight, you have a second line that you're promoting, the Mallows, the... Yes. Uh, new vinyl, uh, vinyl uh, decorated figures. Yeah, which we showed at Toy Fair last year, but we uh, they weren't they weren't articulated. We kind of hid that. We're learning a little bit. We hide things now sometimes. <laughs> you know, we love our fans, but sometimes you got to hide things. So you know, we hid it, and uh, everybody else came out with theirs, and then all of a sudden we dropped ours that had full articulation, and nobody else did. And it's too late for anybody else to change theirs. So we have the top dog of the designer stuff now because it's right. it's articulated. It's, it's ten pieces, it's nine points of articulation, and all the licensors are loving it. They're like, it's articulated, but it's not a toy. It's a collectible. It's still technically a designer. It's nice and light, 
you can paint on it. It's ready to it's ready to paint with markers, paint whatever you want, and the licensed stuff they want to get on board. You know, so we got a Funimation series, which is Dragon Ball Z, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, uh, Soul Eater, One Piece. Then we got American Greeting series, which is Mad Balls, My Pet Monster, Sushi Pad. Right. Uh, we got the Sci-Fi NBC series, which is Who Wants to Be a Superhero. Um, we also have uh, some ones that we created on our own. We have a, a Go Girl line, Go Girls, which is going to be a girls line uh, for girls. You know, uh, something to collect, a little tech savvy. They might even have some uh, some light up uh, parts on them, which would be interesting and uh, unique. Um, yeah, it seems like uh, with the Malos, uh, a lot of it, it's sort of the reverse of the problem you had before. Now you can't seem to keep the licensors away from you as opposed to uh, before where it was really a struggle for you to get licensed. Yeah. Well, Syria, the Indie Spotlight was a struggle in the beginning because there was another toy line that came out. Uh, but we were able to secure some. And then, uh, it's, still, it's still hard because um, a lot of those licenses, uh, you know, sat dormant for a while because of licensing issues with the other, with another company. So they weren't, we weren't able to get them. Uh, they are coming out now from other companies, which is a shame. I mean, it's good to see them coming out as toys, but I wouldn't like to see them in the industry. Right. Like, 2000 AD is coming out by another toy company, uh, Tank Girl. Um, you know, there's different products. Green, uh, Green Horn is coming out uh, from Mezco, and, and uh, you know, there are different companies doing different stuff. But uh, eventually, I think down the road, once we cycle through all this stuff, because we've got plenty of properties, we can always add them in later on because their licenses will only last so long on, on movie properties and things like that. So we'll just come back in, and we just want the classics. We want to add them to our line just to have them because they deserve to have a fully articulated line.